Hey guys, Edgar92106 here, and today I am going to review Kingdom Hearts 3. Now before I start, I want to get two things out of the way first. First off, sorry for not uploading for a while, but I have a couple of videos I'm working on, so I won't take another hiatus. Secondly, I was thinking about reviewing Breath by Sleep first, but after talking to a couple of my friends and some consideration, I think I should do this first. So without any further ado, let's get into this review. Finally, after years and a couple of delays, Kingdom Hearts 3 finally arrived on January 29th, 2019. I was very happy with this game. We start out very quickly, surprisingly, in comparison to the uh, to Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2. The goal for Sora for the majority of the game was to get the power of waking. Master Xehanort, on the other hand, wanted to create a new Keyblade with the returning Organization 13. There's another ongoing thing that goes on in this game, and Maleficent and Pete are searching in different worlds for a box. No, not that box. I won't spoil anything, but wow, this game was amazing. The worlds in this game are really fun and enjoyable. I thought the combat system had some pretty fun commands in my opinion at times, as well with like attractions and stuff, that was kind of new for me. There were some new things added to this game. First off, the gummy phone. The gummy phone was a cool little feature in this game and allows you to play a couple of mini games, as well as take pictures of Sora, Donald, and Goofy, and other companions in different worlds. I like the cool detail at when you aim the camera at a couple of different like companions in different worlds. They have a little interaction about you about the phone, like, like this, for example. Let's see. Make sure you get my good side. Another thing that was new that involves the gummy phone is the lucky emblem. You have to take a picture with the gummy phone and capture it. And it's a neat way to keep me and a lot of other people playing for a while, even after the game. Another game that could keep people playing after the game is Little Chef's Bistro. It's it's a fun thing where Sora and Little Chef cook at a bistro that Scrooge McDuck made and you could go out to other worlds and you have to keep an eye out for more ingredients to make more recipes. The soundtrack was unsurprisingly awesome. The story was good in my opinion, although it can be confusing at times. The game for a short time not too long ago got some hate and I was kind of confused. Looking back, there are obviously flaws. There are some questions that are still unanswered, but again, this opens the door for a new Kingdom Hearts game. Nonetheless, amazing game, and I really enjoyed it. I will hopefully keep playing to 100%. I, that's, that's my goal. Anyways, that's it for this video. Sorry for another hiatus. Been busy with school, and no promises. I will try to upload a little bit more videos. Please like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this. I will see you all in the next video.